How bad does it suck that this guy's getting his car towed? Anyway, welcome back to Cavi Unlimited. As I continue to explore the senses, the power of smell is maybe the most enduring. The next piece out of the vault is the popular hockey bag smell, and I'll let these guys tell you about their level of funk. I like how you got the suspenders. It's kind of, you got, it's sort of like a Bill Cosby sort of look, but you're playing hockey. Right. Are all dudes rock the suspenders? It's old school. There's yeah. a few of us left. All the new, uh, the new guys just use the belt, you know. So it's a bit old school. Well, that's all right though, because that's that's part of your fabric. It's right. part of who you are. Right. It's, it comes from the Harold Snaps uh, school of uh, hockey attire, you know. Yeah. You remember Harold Snaps, right? You're a big Snapsy fan. Uh, I've heard, I heard of him. Yeah. It's nice to see you again. Yeah. Last time I saw you. You look like this. They don't really come with the full. Yeah, no, usually like, they keep it. You know, they get like all up in there. Like you that. can definitely get a rub on in there. But now you, you went back to this. Yeah, you I know? went back and keep it tight. Being a, a hockey player and playing hockey for, you know, 20 something years, how do you um, deal with the hockey bag smell? It's pretty bad. Mm. You're probably getting a taste of it right now, aren't you? It's not pretty. And, um,. Yeah, the gloves especially are, are pretty tough. I'm not gonna smell the the pantalons so much, but maybe the shoulder pads, because they're I'm like a nice scent. Yeah, yeah if you want a, a real scent, I got some right here for you. We could strap yeah, to your no. head. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> you know, we're a little bit immune to it, right? Because we're just so. It's actually we don't even notice it. You come in here and you get that waft of yeah of, of funk of stench. You yeah, know, dude. and it, it really you know so a whole lot of man stink in here. Yes, it's like a. It's like a hot stink at yeah. the same time. Certain guys have it a little bit worse than others. Yeah, like stink on top of stink. Yeah, like a guy uh, such as Mike Commodore. Buck nasty is one way to put it. When you were growing up playing hockey, like when you're a, a young, a young, young fellow or like a teenager, how did you get rid of the funk? Febreze, isn't that it? Is huh? that the commercial Febreze? Yeah, dude. Outside, we threw it on the on the deck outside and let the the air. You know, take its course. Get a fan, a couple of fans. Yeah. If you can't put it outside and you don't want your stuff to freeze. You need a lot of Febreze, man. You know those commercials with the spray and the yeah, Febreze? Yeah. You need to Febreze each item individually. In the winter, it would be downstairs in the basement. It wasn't a nice smelling room. Dude, your mom let you have that in the house? Yeah, yeah, downstairs in the in the basement, kind of locked away in the back room. You usually hung it in, the, in a closed room there, and um, that's a room where a lot of people didn't want to go into. So you don't think you get the stench until you're about 16, you know? Really? Because, yeah, when you're the little guy, you know, you're 11 years old, you're a cute little guy, right? You know, and you're out there skating around and bring your hockey equipment home and it's not a problem, right? But it's like you hit that certain age, that magic age, that stench just flows and then it's like your mom's screaming at you to get that hockey gear out to the garage because the house stinks, you know? If you misbehaved at school or whatever, would uh, part of punishment, would that be to go and sit in the room? I don't know if it was as bad for me because it was my smell, so I, I didn't mind it as much as I, I'm sure other people would. Do you have to light like incense in the house too, or like candles or whatever, just in case the aroma seeps in through the through the doors? Well, you better if you're gonna have company over, if you're having some ladies over, yeah, or whatever's happening. I mean, you don't want them smelling that. That'll be a, a deal breaker for sure. We used to have to use balls and bottles on Eric Lindros' skates because he refused to wear socks in them. And Ooh, it smelled like an old man's diaper. Do you want to say thanks to mom right now for all those years of taking care yeah. of your stuff? Thanks, mom. Thanks, mom and dad, for always looking after me and the bad smell from my equipment. Thanks to mom and dad for uh, uh, letting me have stinking gear into, in, the, in, the, in the house. You smell great right now, just for the record. Thanks, man. So do you. Thanks, man. Thank you. Oh. See you, buddy. Thanks. All right. Bye, Bye Matts. Hey, We're still boys, though. Homies. Forever.